In this demo, we are going to design basic contact form with form builder. And we are not going to touch functionality of the form. As just simple as design, which we are going to apply some custom CSS into it, which form builder does not provide. And by the way, yes, form builder need big changes. Okay, let's go start our, I have built one here, and let's go and start with new blank project to build our new form, con contact form. We started with new blank project, and first thing we are going to add, the first element is going to give a title here, and going to give a Okay, we are position we're going to be left and font size I'm going to add 16. I don't want bold and leave the color blank and no padding. Zero padding. Next element is text field. For text field, I don't need label. I'm going to add name. Oops, name and your name as a placeholder. Okay, going to set as required and going to give this field cannot be left blank. All right, next element is either another text field for the email or email address is the same. For this, I don't need label, going to put email and leave it as required. And this field also cannot be left blank. So zero, zero, zero padding. Next element is text area. Same thing goes for here. Message, placeholder, type, your message here and no level for this going to set required and this field cannot be required it cannot be left blank as well padding zero all right now for button i mean i don't need uh, this image we're going to remove and hover image as well removed. Okay, for submit, I'm going to set send it and set it as left, left on middle or top. Uh, maybe set 16 or maybe later we overwrite with another. Okay. Now let's go save our project. Save as in form new form demo. Saved and we export it manually to our server. But since I said we are not going to touch functionality here and just simple as design only. So we are going to continue with our export. I'm not going to add this anywhere for now and go back to your exported folder, which is new form demo. Open this folder, inside the folder, we have another folder by name of Tim which we have our default CSS nested in this folder. Open up with your code editor. 
Okay. Now. Delete. Don't save. Reopen it. Yeah. Okay, we are going to find. We are going to. Oops, sorry. We are going to increase the height of this uh, name field, email field, and text field. It seems very narrow to me, so I'm going to increase the height. Go back to your code editor and let's find this field. Scroll down until you see container, this container rules common all elements for input. Okay, so yeah, here we are and going to change some of the styles here I don't need border top I need height maybe 35 pixel and color background color background color let's say quick and it slightly darker color maybe this should be okay and font size for here i'm going to increase a bit 12 pixel is too small maybe 16 all right and what else okay we are done with this i'm going to copy we have a two option either save this document or we can add it into our form build i'm going to copy this i'm back to form builder and going to add html element in html element here going to delete this field and going to type a style tag and close the tag pasting <coughs> as you see here we had increase the height of the fields and we set the background color for our field as well input and text field now we can place it anywhere we like this html element and of course we don't need padding for this as well all right then what else and yeah we could use this as well next is to add uh, Oh, we didn't add border color. Border, border we have. I'm going to have increased the border to four pixel each and border color. I'm going to have a slightly darker color. Maybe somewhere in the middle here. Okay, again. Copy this code and add it into form builder again. Leave this style. Now 
now we had our border for our text field and email field the uh, input field and email now the next we need to add same design style for this our text field back to code editor let's go and find for text area text area yeah here we are this rules apply for text 14 pixel height for she behind okay six increase the font size to 16 we don't need top border and color for border we need somewhere in the middle here and what else border and yes for the border radius for pixel each copy this as well and back to code editor right below in our current style paste it now we got our border for this as well next is to design this button submit button go back to this css, CSS button generator.com and here we have our designed our button you can design as well whatever the style or design you would like to so back to code editor let's go and find submit button submit submit button oops let's go and find the style being done for this yeah here it is and going to delete this now oops and this line as well for hour back to here and just copy whatever inside the bracket copy back to code editor paste it and for hover for hover as well copy just whatever inside the bracket carefully inside the code editor and paste it here now copy this this rules for submit button copy it back to code editor right below our design uh, styles we add now we had our button here check in browser yep as you see here we had our text field input field with background and uh, inner border for our email field same and text field the same and we designed our custom submit button as well hopefully it's useful in your projects and thank you for watching